What's up YouTube? David here. And look at this. Gray skies, wet atmosphere, just got done storming. Perfect time to go out and catch some bass. And that is what we're gonna do right now. So we're here at the pond. I just want to give kudos to all of you, like myself, who have lived off pond fishing. You have to grab so much gear. Everything's got to stay in your trunk. Sometimes you forget things because you don't have a boat to store everything on. You got to find water where you're not violating any laws by trespassing, this and that. You got to trek through weeds. If you want to get to a spot that's been untouched, you got to get thorns in you, scratches, ticks. I mean, it's it's hard, but sometimes rewarding. I've caught all my personal best in every species of fish I've caught off the shoreline. So uh, it can be rewarding, but at the same time, it's a lot of work. So, and most of the time, let's be honest, it's not very rewarding. But uh, like right now, I'm trekking through a forest. But hopefully this weather, can, with the weather conditions that just passed through, uh, cloudy, overcast, Hopefully these bass are biting. All right, threw on my chesty mount because it's really wet out due to the storm. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the frog. I'm gonna throw it along the shoreline here and uh, see if we can get anything to bite. All right, just, so just a tip that I've learned is to invest in a good pair of mud boots, muck boots, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, for example, for this pond right after the storm, you literally have to walk in, like I'll show you. I'm ankle deep in water, I'm not even on the shore. So there's a good six, seven inches of water uh, before you can even get to the shoreline. So that makes it a lot easier. I bought these from Bass Pro Shop for 50 bucks. They've been a godsend, um, especially if you're a pond fisherman. So invest $50, you can walk into that stuff you don't have to limit yourself to ruining your gym shoes. I've ruined so many pair of gym shoes that uh, I decided to invest. I wasn't really getting anything on the frog along these weed lines. So I'm going to switch to a KVD square bill crankbait. Chartreuse color 1.0. Dark colored water. So let's see if that's what they're looking for. There we go. Right on the weed bite. Right, right on the weed bed. Got this fit. Ow. Yep. There you go. Released. Okay. Catch another one. <laughs> Damn treble hooks. Oh, got one. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get down, get down. He ran with it. Oh. Oh, this is a big one, guys. This is a big one. Gotta land him. Trying to get in the weeds. Trying to get in the weeds. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, this might be my personal best, guys. This might be my personal best. Guys, this bass is humongous. Absolutely humongous. Turn my scale. Oh my God. That's my personal best, guys. 6.2 pounds. 6.2 pound bass. Finally cracked six pounds. Let's let her go.
Man, I was gonna do a product review today, something that I bought at Walmart yesterday. Um, but I decided to come out and fish for an hour or so. Right after the storm, I had a feeling that something good was gonna happen. I felt like the conditions were right, that I can either have a really good day, catch a bunch of fish, or catch one or two really big fish. I did not think that I'd catch my personal record. Um, I've only been out here for about 40 minutes. Caught a couple smaller ones. I was messing around with my GoPro, trying different settings and stuff. I doubt the footage will be good. So, um, And also, I did release the fish. Um, I was messing with my GoPro settings, trying to do like slow-mo stuff, this and that. And I ended up turning it off and I released the fish. So I did release the fish. It did swim off healthy. Everything was fine. So uh, always catch and release for me. But on another note, thank you all for watching. I've learned so much from everyone that I watch on YouTube. Uh, water conditions. I've studied water conditions, weather conditions, weed lines, points. I mean, everything. I've, I've, I've just decided the last year or two to be a student of the sport and try to, every year, make myself a little better. So, still using spinning rods. I know, gotta learn how to use the bait casters, but that'll be next year. But I appreciate, thank you, everyone who watched this video. I know it's short, but it's my personal best video. It's gonna be short. Let's see if I can break it. Thanks, guys.